Hi Cancer, this is your reading for October 20th to the 28th, just whatever wants to come out, not a specific reading, it's a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and even North Node, Cancer. I'm doing all the water signs today, and as I was getting into your energy, I asked about you, and I heard unbearable so I don't know if you're feeling stressed discomfort but perhaps it's getting unbearable then I also heard the word strive so what are you striving for cancer Spirit saying, hang in there. Strive. Strive for what you want. Okay, Spirit, Creator. Archangels, angels, guides, guardians, higher self. Please give us clarity for Cancer. Please show us the cards that we need for this week, October 20th to the 28th for Cancer. Get some good cards for Cancer. Show clarity. Get some clarity going. Okay, so first out, we've got Seven of Swords, and Seven of Swords is like a sneak. He's stealing these swords and taking them away, and he's got a smirk on his face. He's smirking like, ha ha, he's stealing from this army here who's camped out. He's taking their weapons. So we don't really know why he's taking their weapons. Perhaps he's trying to prevent them from fighting. Or maybe he's just a thief. We don't know. But this card brings a lot of mistrust. You can feel as though someone lied to you. Someone stole from you. Someone's not being honest. Just being sneaky, shady energy. Okay. And then we've got Seven of Cups. So, two sevens right out the gate. Seven of Cups is a feeling like there's many options, confusion, you don't know what to choose. But this can also be illusions of options but cups is energy so this is an emotion you're feeling cups is the is the energy of emotion for water is emotion so the cups represents water and the water represents emotion so this is going to be how you're feeling like you have too many choices you don't know what to choose or you may be feeling like there's too many options or you may be feeling like there's no options. And it could also be the illusion of options. But here we've got Three of Cups. So Three of Cups can be a third party situation. It can be celebrating. It can be drinking too much. Um, over celebrating can be hanging out with friends, social gatherings, relying on friends. But Three of Cups can also be like relying too heavily on others. You need friends, but you gotta rely on numero uno, right? You gotta rely on yourself. So 
If this is a third party, that explains the shadiness. Um, yeah. But here you're creating something. We got the magician, and Pisces got this too. So maybe all water signs are creating something right now. The magician is the master manifester, and he is creating the world. The world came out. So this is an ending, um, the ending of a cycle, which brings in a new cycle. This could be the ending of a karmic cycle. And the world, please don't mind the background noise. The world represents everything, everything that you want. It's good things. It's a future outcome. So, let's ask Spirit. Are you going to be celebrating something soon? Or is this a third party situation? Let's clarify Three of Cups, please. Three of Cups. Clarify Three of Cups for Cancer. Three of Cups for Cancer, please. Mm. High Priestess, the Chariot, and Knight of Swords. Okay. So, this can be... You're using your intuition here. You're having to go within. Um, and this brings a new beginning. The Chariot brings a, a new direction. Moving swiftly in a new direction. Also, we've got the Knight of Swords. Very fast movement. Taking action quickly. So... Perhaps you've gone within or you're at least following your intuition on something and you're moving swiftly in a new direction. Perhaps this is a third party situation. So I'm going to say you've got this seven of swords here. And this seven of swords perhaps has the illusion that they have more options. And it doesn't seem like it's going to work out for them. But there is a third party and you know this already. You know Cancer is very intuitive. And so it seems as though you're following your intuition here and taking action, moving away from this person. Or if it's maybe like a career. These all just fell out and I don't... I don't know what this is about. It may not even be for you. We've got Two of Cups, Hierophant, and the Wedding card. Four of Wands. Or this is like homecoming celebration party wedding. Um, and Hierophant is higher tradition marriage. Can be. And Two of Cups is soulmates. So I feel like... Someone's being sneaky here. Maybe you thought that was your soulmate. Maybe you were about to get married. Maybe you're engaged to be married. And you found out... You found out this person is being shady or there's a third party involved here. Um, you're creating... It looks like you're manifesting the end to this. And or you're manifesting a new beginning with an actual soulmate whom you will marry. And perhaps that's why you're feeling like you have so many options right now. Confused as to what to do. But you already know if someone's being sneaky and shady and lying and cheating and stealing, um, that's not the one to go with. So you've already done the work. You've gone within. You're listening to your intuition. And you're moving away from it. Knight of Swords is fast moving, swift action. And the Chariot is taking control of your life. Moving forward and being your own, your own boss. You say when, but there is love. There's love maybe coming in. You may already know who this person is. 
This is soulmate energy. This is marriage. I mean, it, the Hierophant with Four of Wands definitely tells me that's a marriage. Um, maybe a marriage is ending because of this energy and you thought this person was your soulmate. But it looks as though soulmate marriage energy here. Either you're moving away from it. Jeez. Yeah. Pisces got this card too. Either you're moving away from it into this love, this wedding energy, or you are going to get married and your intuition has stopped you. You found out there's a third party and you're moving towards something better. This is a very heavy energy. This is the unbearable that I was hearing and feeling. This is in your head, sleepless nights, nightmares, and Ten of Wands is, look at that heavy load he's carrying. That's a big burden to carry. It's a lot of weight on your shoulders. So, you are heavy in this unbearable energy. But you already know what to do. Your intuition has guided you, High Priestess. And the chariot is saying, let's go. Let's move. We know where to go. And it seems like you're wanting to take action. You're trying to manifest a different beginning. Or maybe you're trying to manifest a different outcome. However, you can't escape this shadiness here. And it's weighing you down. So what are you going to do, Cancer? What is the outcome for Cancer? What is the outcome? That's too many. I think that's too many. But let's go with it. The devil. Judgment. Five of Cups. And the Star. So, the Five of Cups. Heavy disappointment. Discomfort. Grief. Loss. Sadness. Depression. Um, just very disappointed. He's got his back turned. He's kind of given up on this. So, I feel like this could be where you're at. This judgment, this is your inner calling. Same with High Priestess. This is something saying this wasn't going to work anyways. It's not going to work. You know this person is shady. You've already manifested a new beginning. You've got this soulmate marriage energy here. And if this is your soulmate, the Seven of Swords, soulmates aren't always meant to last forever, right? And if a soulmate treats you like that, it's just to learn a lesson and then you move on. Because you don't want to be with someone like that, married to someone like that, who's involved with third parties or lying or stealing or doing something with somebody else, talking behind your back, whatever it is. They don't have to be cheating on you. But third party could mean someone else is involved one way or another. Stealing, setting somebody up, talking about someone behind their back, and you became aware of it. This may not even have been happening to you. You may just have recognized this is the type of person they are and they've done this to somebody else. Whatever it is, you don't want a part of it. You want this happy marriage soulmate here. You want the world you want to create. And you're ready to move in a new direction. And your inner calling is telling you to do so. If it feels like this. If it feels like this. Then you need to listen to this inner calling. If it feels heavy and disappointed. If it's all of these here. Weighing you down. Sleepless nights. Heavy disappointment and anguish. Mental anguish. That's your inner calling saying. Hey. Time to move in a new direction. This ain't going to happen for you cancer. And we got the devil. This is a liar. And this can be obsessive thoughts too. This can be you obsessing over it. And Cancer, you're so loving and kind and so nurturing and just there for everybody and just generous with your energy. You got to reel it in. Okay? Don't give that stuff away. That's the good stuff. And that's why we got this star here. Faith, hope, trust in the universe. Enlightenment. You've gained enlightenment. And you know you're a star. You're better than that. 
You're better than all this. Okay? So take it how it fits. Make it resonate for you. If it doesn't, it wasn't your reading. You know that. But if it fits for you, you got to leave this cat behind. Okay? I thought about this animal spirit deck before I even pulled your card, so... I knew I wanted to get an animal spirit card for you. Creator, can we have a card for cancer? Can we have an animal spirit card for cancer to confirm this reading, please? What is the energy of cancer? What is the energy cancer needs to take on? Ant spirit, time to collaborate. Hmm. Collaborate. Well, maybe you're having to move on to bigger, better things. I mean, you could be celebrating. I mean, we don't know, really. If this whole shady storyline doesn't go for you, then that Three of Cups is there for celebrations and social gatherings and being with friends. Perhaps you are going to a wedding. Perhaps you're having a wedding. Perhaps you're having second thoughts about your wedding. <laughs> and that's why you're so heavily weighed down. For some of you, not all of you. And then we got electric eel spirit. Bring your ideas to life. You're definitely manifesting something here. And you've got the world on your side. If you're trying to manifest a new beginning, You've got the star, you've got faith in yourself, you've got to put these disappointments and lay this burden down. Move forward swiftly, listening to your guiding inner self intuition. And there is definitely a marriage here. So whether someone's walking away or moving towards a soulmate that will end in marriage, only you guys know that. Several stories could be happening here. But I hope it works out for you, Cancer. We got Butterfly Spirit on the bottom. Transformation is beautiful. Number 11. Master number 11. This is 24, and this is 1 for those who care, if anyone cares. Okay. What is this? Nightingale spirit, love is all around. This was flipped somehow on the top, face up, I don't know. 41, love is all around, and that is so true. So if you're feeling upset and weighed down and burdened, if you're feeling stress or discomfort is unbearable, it's pushing you to make a choice. And that's what it's always about. So please make the choice, Cancer. Make the choice for what is right for you. Listen to this judgment. Listen to this inner calling. There has been a judgment call made. Okay, whether that's real life judgment, or it could be someone facing prison time. But I think this is just you. You're making the call because you know it's not right for you. This isn't the way that your future is supposed to go. You're gonna have to make that change. Let's get a Moonology card and then we'll wrap it up. Can we get a Moonology card for Cancer, please? Please confirm or clarify this reading with a Moonology card for Cancer. A new start is coming. That's a new moon. And we just passed this huge new moon. So maybe this past new moon in Libra meant something to you. Maybe this has brought you this new uh, found intuition, this inner judgment call. Because Libra is all about relationships. Something has to change here. Something has to move forward. And I think you're switching directions on somebody. The new start is coming. 
and you've manifested it. I mean, you, you've got the magician and the world side by side. You've got the star. And you got to get out of your head about it. Lay the burden down. Quit thinking so much about it. You already know which direction is best for you, and so you just have to do it. Is there any more Moonology cards for Cancer? A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Seriously, we just have this new moon in Libra. No way. New moon, new moon in Libra. So this past weekend, this new moon did something in your relationships. Okay, you know it. You felt it. New romantic cycle begins. A new start. And we've got this inner calling. The high, the high priestess. And these three... Union cards, union, marriage, happy family, homecoming, soulmate cards. Come on. Cancer, you're moving towards something good. So let go of this heavy burden. Okay? It wasn't meant for you. If you found out something about someone you didn't like, it's for a reason. Let it go. Thank you, Cancer. Share if you like. Um, subscribe if you wish. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Thank you.